So I'm just going to show you some of the things we did today. So for Reader's Workshop, I read... Oh, I didn't read this book. <laughs> Let me go get it. I actually read this one, Butterflies in the Garden, and it was really cute. And they... Let me see here. They um, filled... insect vocabulary. We did it here. And they did some rule word. So they write their um, spelling list and then they roll it and write it down. Here was a poem that they did. Then for math. There was this fun sheet, you can find it here. So that was a fun one. They just color in ones that are a difference of one. Or two boxes. There was this coloring sheet. <clears throat> and this daily math. So here's a page we did can find it there. So I apologize. It's just so awkward with those open concept classrooms where like everybody can hear you if you talk to yourself via a camera. No, <laughs> um, it's really awkward though. So I just decided to do it in my car after school. So because I'm having that interview next week, I decided to take a couple resources just in case, you know, you never really know like what's gonna happen in an interview. So I took a, well, a couple. I took a bunch of resources because she had some extra sheets, especially of the things we were doing and all that stuff. So I took a few different um, sheets here just as a way of like, just in case. So I have ideas and I have things that I can do if I would happen to get the job. I also think it's really good experience to be subbing in first grade over the next couple of days because then I get that experience and I can bring that directly into into the interview so I'm really excited they also had this thing called farm bucks so this was kind of their classroom management system I don't know if she did this all year or if it was just this month but she just has these little dollars so she has five dollars one dollar so of course, right when I was going to show you guys, it fell right between the crack and the seat. But, and then they had this $10. So her system was you can earn money if you're doing a good job and doing what you're supposed to be doing. And then you can also lose money if you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing and things like that. So I'm really trying to prepare for this interview. I have another first grade job, actually maybe another two first grade jobs. So I think I should be ready. I'm excited, I'm nervous, but hopefully it works out. So wish me luck, guys. Uh, I still, I have exactly a week to prepare. So I'm gonna go, I will catch you guys tomorrow. Hello, everybody. I am in a third grade class today. And so far, so good this morning. There are some active boys in here, so I have to keep a lookout for that. But it looks like it's going to be a fun day. We're doing some stuff with bridges. So they are going to be showing their bridges when they get back. We're going to do this sheet, um, this planning sheet, as well as this budget sheet. And then we are, what are we doing? Oh, and then we're going to read this book called one, the one and only Ivan about the gorilla. I guess they're doing some stuff on China, so I'm reading this story about China. They also, something that's kind of fun, if I can find it, they have these awesome punch cards, and she just has these little, um, things to punch a little hole in there so you can see that they did an awesome job and yeah um 
so those are some of the main things. The principal came in and introduced himself, which I've already met him. I know I'm sure they have a lot of subs and stuff, but it is always kind of a disheartening feeling when, you know, you already know that person. But I kind of talked about my experiences, so maybe if next time he sees my name pop up for a job application, maybe he'll look a little more into it. So, who knows? But I'm gonna go, guys. See you later. So, it is the next day. And today I'm doing two half days. So the morning is going to be in kindergarten and the afternoon is going to be in first grade, which is perfect for preparing for my interview because I could see where some of the kids might be coming in if I got this job, where they'd be coming in at, and then where they would be leaving at. So I'm really, really excited for this opportunity today and especially to help me prepare for this interview kind of just worked out this way. It was actually supposed to be only a half day in the afternoon, but they called me yesterday and now I'm working a half day, two half days, so a full day. <laughs> um, and all we're doing today for Reader's Workshop, we are reading these animal opposites. And that's it. There's four different books. And then for Writer's Workshop, they are going to write about animal opposites and that's pretty much the whole <laughs> morning i don't know what the afternoon looks like yet uh, when you do half days that's just kind of how it works but yeah um otherwise this morning i took my dogs on a mile walk and i did a workout so i'm feeling really good and then after work i'm gonna go work out too so i'm feeling good and yeah, I'm really excited to get some practice with kindergartners at the end of the year and first graders at the end of the year. So I'll let you guys know how it goes. So I just got into the first grade classroom. I always kind of forget how crazy and how much work kindergarten can be, but that's going to be the reality if I teach that next year. So I better be ready for that and get used to it. But let me just show you quick what we're doing for this first grade classroom for the app. So part of their math curriculum here is that they use this thing called number corner, which is basically using the calendar as a way of doing math. So today is the 24th, so that was the one we were working on. And we also did a challenge activity. Now because the computer had a password and I couldn't get onto it, I couldn't show this under the document camera, so so many students were confused, and it was kind of frustrating for me personally to get through this, just because students were not really trying, they were confused, and they just kind of gave up and said, I don't get what I'm doing, and really didn't write anything down, even though I was writing it for them up on the board, I thought on my feet, and still so many papers came back with nothing on them. So I don't know if that was my fault or I don't know what, but anywho, um, this is what it looked like, $50 to spend. So you just take turns, you put your pencil in a paper clip and you go like that or whatever, you, you know, spin it around and then whatever number you get here, then you write it subtracted up here and you also color in however many squares to represent that. And Obviously, you can see that there's 50 here, or 5, 10 sticks. So, and then uh, you don't want to bust, and I actually ended up busting, and they, um, they did not. So, you can see that there. That was one of the activities we did for first grade. And then this was our other activity. Remember, I just did a half day here. So I was making this butterfly, so they just had to cut out two different pieces and then got some antenna. Now, we had about uh, 15 minutes to work on this and most of them barely even got this colored. Most did not get it cut out. So just as a reference, but they're kind of making their own creations and I guess they're talking about insects right now and butterflies. So this is a relevant activity that they could be doing. So I like to be honest with you guys. And 
I was really excited this morning and you know thinking about this interview next week I am kind of nervous just because the kindergartners and the first graders maybe I'm just not used to it because I was with older kids I mean I was with some third graders this week I was with first graders one of the other days and it was also a little bit hectic but so what I'm meaning to say is like it just makes me a little bit nervous that maybe you know the lower grades are a little bit out of my comfort I don't want to say that I just don't really know how to explain it but you know it's it, it takes a lot of work to work with first graders and kindergartners and um, on the flip side though I want to say that you know we are about eight or seven days away from the last day of school or from school being over and being at summer and I'm a sub so like by default my job's already that much harder and then yeah with the end of the year so I think they're all just kind of squirrely excited it's kind of warm today so I'm sure they're excited to go home and I only came for half a day I don't know their names I don't know their routine and so I think all those things combined made it a really tough day both here in first grade and this morning in kindergarten I don't think that is reflected on my teaching abilities but it does you know put something in the back of my mind to think about um, as I go into this interview next week so just just something to think about but you know as a sub it can be hard <laughs> it can be and um, sometimes you know life is not always the easiest as a sub especially here at the end of the year it's just it's so hard um, so I'm kind of excited though I mean tomorrow's Friday this day's almost over anyways tomorrow's Friday and then it's you know we have a long weekend and then um, next week I have my interview and a couple more days to sub and then the next week uh, again a couple days to sub and then it's summer so time is flying by and it's crazy <laughs> it's gonna be crazy for both especially for subs but also for the classroom teachers so I'm gonna go the rest of this day is just getting ready they have a afternoon um, specialist so it'll just be getting ready and going home so I will catch you guys tomorrow happy Friday so I'm just gonna talk quick because I'm in an office and I don't want anybody coming in but I'll just show you a couple of the things and then um, a couple of the kids working so this is the schedule of the day each group is like about 30 minutes so it'll be a pretty good day good worksheet for nonfiction text so most of my work has been one-on-one -on -one. so here was the gymnastics article or book that we read it's a nonfiction text so we filled this out I actually filled it out for him and had to do a lot of leading but at least he had the ideas coming to him and then this is the one I'm going to read with a fourth grader and we're also going to fill out the same sheet and I think it's really good because it gets him thinking about the different parts of a nonfiction text. So that's where I'm headed right now. It's been a pretty nice day so far. I have just two more things and then I'm done for the week. Just played an awesome game that I wanted to tell you guys about. This is These are cards from the Math Learning Center and they're just subtraction. So basically what you do with these cards is you deal every card out as if you were playing war and all the kids turn over their first card, solve the problem, and see who has the most points, and then they get all the cards. If you recognize this little wall behind me, it's actually because I was in this position probably about two, maybe three months ago. If you look back, um, I don't even know, like <laughs> three months ago or something, um, you'll notice that this is the same. This is actually the same exact position that I was in and I'm working with a couple different kids but most of them are the same and I really enjoy special education when it's working for the learning disability side I think it's a lot of fun and personally I find it I mean I'm the sub so for me as a sub of 
special ed with learning disabilities. Uh, I find it to be like a very nice and relaxing day. Obviously, I'm sure not every day is like this, but I find it to be kind of nice. And, um, you know, I feel like I'm really making a difference on these days. So, yeah, um, I am going to go, though. I hope you all have a fabulous week or had a fabulous week and have a wonderful finish to your school year and I will catch you next week. Bye guys. Ooh, for my interview. I'm so excited. Bye guys.